we specialize in creating artificially generated content that looks and feels exactly like reality. So we take kind of real world data, we train these neural nets, and it can more accurately than VFX or CGI really create this content that looks and feels so natural. Well, I'm going to challenge you and your team to do a bit of a first here. I mean, there's video of you right up on that screen. Show us something surprising you can... <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, oh, wait. So there we go. This is, um, you know, a live real-time model of Chris um, on top of me, um, <laughs> running in real time. I am so uncomfortable with this. <laughs> I am so uncomfortable. Can it, can it do voice as well? Um, um, we, we think it can. We're, we're, we're really pushing... We're really pushing the limits of AI technology now. How do you feel about the downside of this technology? So personally, you know, we build this stuff and I'm worried, right? Worried is the right instinct for everybody to have. As individuals, it's going to be kind of difficult to understand what's computer generated and what's real. And so there are things that we can do there, raising public awareness of manipulated media. That's one that's, you know, this is a great forum for that. Will you claim to me that if you were to shut down your company right now, it wouldn't stop the problem of deepfake videos because the technology is out there that that's going to happen anyway, that that's not within your control. Yes, there are, we're talking about content that is so compelling. If you know, we put any of ourselves inside content and maybe it is talking to our loved ones or just talking to our friends on the beach and it's so realistic that it looks real, it's so compelling. Everybody is trying to create this content today all of the GPUs in the universe are driving it, trying to create this. So it doesn't matter what any one person does, this will happen and it's happening very, very quickly. We are going to have to get used to a world where we and our children will no longer be able to trust the evidence of our eyes. I think so. Um, we are going to have to understand a new set of institutions to verify what is authentic media, um, but then we can begin to lead into some of the creative things that happen from it, and there are benefits that come with that too.